Hi folks, Electric Jen here, taking a historical video, uh, well, a video for historical preservation purposes. It is Wednesday, September 21st, 2006. I'm still running the version 7.0 of Tesla Autopilot software. The car in front of me just merged out of the way. Um, traffic's going pretty slow, but I wanted to maintain a record of what the software and the interface looked like or looks like as of today because I do expect in the coming days to get a software update that changes the interface completely. So this gives me some context to be able to compare what has changed. Now I happen to have the kind of daily trip ticker on the left as my setup. I do miss the old interface that was before 7.0 where it allows you to see your energy consumption and just a little bit more information on the previous odometer. Um, I do wish that when not using autopilot that old interface would be an option but uh, we'll see what they have in store for us in 8.0. I also have the energy screen on the right hand side. Uh, looks like we're averaging 302 watt hours per mile. Not too shabby for uh, non-Southern California weather which I know is where Teslas definitely thrive but so far so good for late summer. Today is the last day of summer and um, again just taking a video to see what the screen looks like so that I'm better able to compare. Hey folks, Electric Jen here testing out autopilot on version 8.0 of the operating system and I took that before picture to show the display differences. It's minor. Um, I think it gives you now a little bit more indication that it's on and active but I have to say that the smoothness of the ride is definitely improved it's definitely a little bit better than it was uh, and it was already great um, but I think it's definitely mimicking human driver behavior a little bit more in terms of the slowing and accelerating based on the car in front of you I have the following distance set to a 5 right now um, but I do have a comment that unfortunately the center console screen which kind of the whole interior of the car the center and the screen that I'm showing you has crashed more times since we've downloaded 8.0 then in the almost years that we've had the car it's probably crashed I don't know seven or eight times the worst of which was first thing this morning when I was trying to leave the house the garage door didn't close the system kind of freaked out and shut off and I had to wait until it turned back on to try to close my garage door so it definitely cost me a few minutes on my commute this morning I mean nothing major but a bit of an inconvenience so I'll be contacting Tesla and letting them know my experience. Um, my only other complaint is with the USB drive when you're playing a bunch of music files on the USB drive. Um, even though I don't have cover art associated with my files, it used to show me those cover arts. Like it would take a few seconds or a second or two and it seems to have grabbed some random photo off the internet and it would show it to you. So at least you had a pleasant display, but now when I have the music showing on the, the top part of my screen listening to USB, it's a little bit bland looking, so I'll mention that as well. I know that there have been some complaints with the USB song scrolling for those that have very, very large um, libraries, which I do not. I tend to just pick a song and hit shuffle, which is fine by me, but I do want to at least give Tesla some feedback about the lack of cover art. So that's it. Thanks. Hope you all enjoyed.